Tharanki Rama Jiraka. I was just earlier today remembering things from the past. Now here in my channel, in my playlist called For Goodness Sakes, I have posted some information about things we've done in the past, things that have passed through our hands. You know, I, I've stated some good news about these things. Here's something else about these kinds of things. See, I, I was remembering affairs that I've been involved in, things, experiences I've had in life, places I've been, things I've done, things I've heard, things I've seen. Some of these things involved what we might call glory days, you know. And, and I, was, I was thinking about where I live now and the people I work with and the people I, I you know, live near. And, you know, these people who I am surrounded by now in life, I can tell by the things they talk about, the ways they behave, the things they do, their states of mind, the, that they, in large, have no idea what my inner thoughts are like. The things that I've done, the things that I know, the, the awarenesses that I have. If I were to describe certain things, certain of these things, it just the certain places I've been, things I've done. You know, for example, what life was like on the Lower East Side of New York City, you know, Manhattan, in the 70s and 80s when I lived there. On the Lower East Side, what's now called the East Village. Back then, most people, unless they were there, wouldn't have any idea what it was like, even if they were told. No clue. What it would be, have been like to have actually been there. No concept of it. Way outside their experience. It's just one little example. You know, uh, if you know anybody who was there, lived there, even visited there, daring enough to visit there during those years, they would tell you that, that anybody who lived there for 10, 15, 20 years at that time is lucky, fortunate to have remained sane and alive. See, I find it kind of boring now, after all I've done, places I've been, some rather interesting, intense, and exciting stuff. I've done, been through, and you know, lived in, in the past, and so I find that the small little Pennsylvania town that I now live in is quite bland, boring, and um, I, I, I do have to search quite hard, honestly, people. I do have to search quite hard to relate to people that I find myself around every day in this small town. Um, I have to realize that we're all human and that deep inside we are all, you know, I am. It's the same the core essence wherever it shows up. And that's our real common point. That we're all multi-plane focal points of energy control and experience in the universe. I have to f look for that every day. I have to be, I remind myself of it. Otherwise, I don't feel much in common with people that I am around every day. So now and then, yeah, I sit down or I, you know, if I'm laying on my couch or something like that, I do think back through the things that I have experienced that have given me the perspective that I have that I don't find that many other people 
who I am around now, possess and so I sometimes miss the things that I've done, the places I've been. And I wonder, most more importantly here, where do these things go? What happened to these experiences? They, they're, they're gone in the past, of course, you know, but kind of like in an esoteric philosophical manner, I have this question. It's almost an existential type of question. Where do these experiences go? I know that at every moment, every moment, the universe could logically manifest any one of an infinite number of possibilities or actualize, to use a more exact word, any one of an infinite number of possibilities, but only one actualizes at each moment and the rest, where are they at? Similarly, where do the past things go? What happened to them? They seem to kind of just like go off into a category, almost like a category of things that never did happen, in a sense. I mean, if these things fade from memory, my memory, then they're just gone. Now, take note. Every one of these memories that I have take the form of a mental image. Every one of them. There's a mental image. There is mental imagery involved in them. And when all events have happened, there have been mental images associated with them. And they linger. They stay. If you want to know where these things have gone, they still exist in the universe's memory forever as kind of like a catalog of images. And what has caused these things places, events, experiences to have an impact on us, well, they're part of the causal chain that we're involved in. But the link, the link that lingers, really, is that catalog of images. These things never really do go away. and where we are all headed in the future has a lot to do with that catalog, the universe's memory, the image memory bank. It's all still there. And they form they are the mold for our futures. And we tap into that all the time. We're always living out the results of these affairs. Results, effects, and images are all intimately connected. It's 
I guess, not inaccurate, but somewhat accurate to say that my or your inner mental workings are intimately tied in with our mental images that we connect with that have to do with the past. And where those differ from other people's, our inner mental workings differ from other people, from other people's inner mental workings. What's the good news? Well, although the past is the past, the results are still manifesting. And there is memory, whether or not we consciously connect with it, there is memory. It all is kept in a catalog of images, every little bit. Is never all truly gone. How could it be? Well, be well.